Can you like that? Go back to there. You scared? How are you? I'm not scared. I'm not scared of you. I'm not telling you to be scared, man. I'm just standing here. Yeah, standing here, but I saw you fall. You're acting pretty nervous. I didn't, I didn't talk to you. You started looking at me, telling me to shoot away. I don't know your problem. I'm just standing here. Um, well, you, I saw you like looking at me. I saw you following me. So I don't know what what you what you're trying to do. I literally just started walking to the corner, and you started telling me to walk the other way. I didn't say a word to you. You're acting really weird, but I didn't say a word to you until you started acting weird to me. All right. Okay. Oh, you got your fist clenched. Your fist clenched, huh? I have my fist clenched. Yeah, yeah, you did. Sue. So, you're aggressive. You're being. I'm not an aggressive person, weird. you know. Really, I know who you are. Oh, really? Yeah, you know who I am? Yeah. Where am I? Where am I from? Pardon me. Where am I from? My shirt, where am I from? Yeah. I'm not with my Rebel, if that's what you're talking asking to. Okay. That's cool. Alright. So you don't, you, you don't know nothing about me. So why don't you just go back to your friends right now? You're leaving, keep walking. Actually, no, no, actually, I think I go fine. I can, I can stay here if I want. Let's stand right here then. Alright. But I'm just wondering, what is your, your group about? Me? What is your group exactly about? Why is it about? You ask them? Huh? Yeah. Ask them? But well, you're part of it, aren't Pardon you? Me? You're part of it. How do you know that? Well, you were right there standing with them. I See, you were behind these binders, I saw that. You're telling me not to make assumptions that you're not with Rebel Media, even though you have media equipment, you have a Rebel Media shirt, but you're making assumptions that well, I'm, I'm not. Well, I'm not with Rebel Media. Okay, all right. Well, it's true. I mean, uh, you know, they sell, they sell shirts, they sell hats. I mean, I'm allowed to wear it if I want to. Yeah, I'm like, this is a you know, sidewalk. I can stand there and talk to them if I want to. Yeah, that, that's right. I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, complaining about that. No, but you're, uh, you know, jumping to some assumptions. I'm saying the assumptions that I'm jumping for are pretty, pretty reasonable based off of the way you're acting and what you're saying. Really? Yeah, really. All right. Well, then again, I'm also allowed to ask what, what's your, what's your thing about. Go ahead, uh, and do Go ahead and do whatever it is you're planning on doing. Well, okay. But then, uh, are you gonna walk walk back then? Because if, you, if you're just sitting there saying a yes, stare at me, you go ahead and do whatever it is you're planning on doing, sir. All right. Actually, I'll make a test. See? Just as I thought. Lovely day, man. Of course, it's a lovely day. Huh? Ah, oh, and this one's wearing a mask. That's interesting. They're wearing a hat. Ah, he's wearing he's wearing a hat. He's wearing a hat. Yeah, well, nice on glasses, though. Uh, I'll agree. Huh? Honestly, I don't even know who Omar Carter is. Yeah. I don't know who he is. Yeah. Should do some research. All right. Well, can you tell me? I mean, since you're protesting no, against him. You were, we're not. You don't know what we're doing here, and you were standing with some people over there who know all about him. I'm pretty sure they told you all you need, all you think you need to know. Uh, I was. I tells you I was standing there. I saw you. You saw me? Yeah. When and where? You've been hanging up over there with those people uh, with the signs on Parliament Hill. Yeah, so it's at least 11:30. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you do know what's going on, and you're not being fully honest with us. 
Oh, I'm, I don't know about, about the whole thing. I just, I just saw the people with signs and I just mm -hmm. said, you know, mm -hmm. what's this all about? Mm -hmm. And yesterday they did tell me a little bit, mm -hmm. but then I just want to know mm -hmm. both sides of it. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah, you, I, I'm, I'm sure you're really here to hear both sides of the story. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm positive. That's, those are your intentions. Thank all you right. for being so honest with us. I, I am honest. Totally. Yeah. I'm, I'm a very honest guy. And, and honestly, you know, just like you know, it's a it's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm, I just really just taking a walk. I just saw yeah. saw this. I saw this over there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And you just with your with your media gear and your rebel media gear that you have nothing to do with. This the... is not rebel media gear. I'm not with rebel media. I'm, I mean, I just have to tell you that. Okay. The rebel media. You know, but whatever it says on your shirt. I can. I'm, I'm just based, going based off of what it says on your shirt, right? Yeah. My shirt. My shirt is something I just bought. Mm -hmm. the you had no idea what it was about, you know, no idea what they do. You had no idea what those guys were about. You're just walking around trying to see what's going on. We know, we know. Of course, yeah. yeah we know. At least we're understanding each other. Is, yeah. that, is that good? Pardon me? That's good. We're understanding each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, so we could be friends. No, yeah, no. we might be one day. I hope we see each other around. Of course. Yeah. See? Right, can, I, can I see what's going on behind you? Because you just see me like you like, like me. I'm trying to have a conversation with you, and I really feel like the answers that you're giving me aren't very honest. So oh, I'm I am so I'm honest. I don't know what more you want me to know. What more you want to know? I mean, pardon me. I don't know what more you want to know. I I I know all that I need to know already based off the way that you answered the questions. You see, you know, sometimes people don't ask questions already knowing the answer to yeah. see how people are going to answer them. It's uh, it's one of those ways of gauging character. Oh, right. So, so basically, you're just saying things just because of what what you see on me. But uh, well, you don't know the, acting, you, you don't know anything doing, about me at all. You don't okay. know my background. You don't know who I live. You would love that. Well, well, I know you're from Ottawa. That I know, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. I guess I kind of take a guess that you're you're an anti-fascist. I guess. Pardon me? You're anti-fascist? Well, is, any, who, is anybody like pro-fascist these days? Like you, any, but really people should be anti-fascist. Like, yeah, but I'm you, talking are about... You, are you pro-fascist? I'm not pro-fascist. Okay, but, and, uh, and I would really hope you're anti-fascist. I'm, anti, I'm not anti-fascist. You're not anti-fascist? You are... Dude, this guy is not anti-fascist, people. <laughs> not nice, anti I'm trolling you. I know you are, because you're not anti-fascist and you just came out and admitted it. I mean, well, he's You know what, if you're not anti-fascist, it means you're pro-fascist, or maybe you're just ambivalent about fascism. Uh, what I meant is that I'm not... You, so you don't mind fascists? I'm not with the... You're not pro-fascist, I'm not with you any, think, you think fascists are okay. I'm not with any organization that's, okay. an, that's a, a anti-fascist like that. Like... The U.S. Army when they took out Hitler. You realize what fascism is, right? Of course, sir. Okay, so you're either against it or you're implicitly supporting it. Like that's well, nobody is for Hitler. Nobody is for... Nobody Actually, is fascists are exactly for that. So if you're saying you're not anti-fascist, it means you're passively accept that. Well, I was just meant I'm not I'm not the part of any other fasc fascist group. That's why you don't I'm need to be part of a group to be against fascism. It's well, like it's a really easy issue well, to get behind. Well, I asked him because he asked me if I'm anti-fascist. I told him I'm I don't like fascists, and he said, "Oh, I'm not an anti-fascist." I get from that is he's okay with fascists. Oh, uh, go English. Oh, okay, sorry, uh, didn't mean to bother you. Haha. No. Well, it's actually not like nice to laugh at people when they don't speak English. No, no, I'm laughing at you because uh, he he didn't understand a word or you said so. Yeah, also not nice. I didn't understand but, you know. that. Huh? Anyway, so you're, you're telling me you're actually not anti-fascist. I'm I'm kind of shocked. I didn't think that was still a thing in in the 21st century and yeah. societies that had like literally gone Day. I to said, war to stop fascism. I said right? I am. I just I guess organize these organizations, but I'm not anti-fascist. I just said it in, in, in a big term, but I thought you meant what you know what I meant when I said that. I think you need to do some soul searching. I, I think you. I think what I meant is that uh, are you with like I, like know what the term to say anti -fa. I think you need to do some soul searching, my friend. Soul searching. Yes. I'm a good boy. I involve with communities. I help people a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm. I mean, you describe me one of the nicest person in the world. So. I, I believe you, but then you need to really consider who you're like. Or affiliating yourself with who you're organizing with and who oh. you're listening to for ideas because like if these people are telling you that anti-fascists are bad people and that it's better to be ambivalent about that these people are literally poisoning your mind okay like you should have no 
shame in the world is saying you're anti-fascist. If you say you're not anti-fascist, you're even implicitly condoning fascism. You're saying you either support it or you're at the very huh. least okay with it. Well, those are, you, there's, th there's no you middle ground totally there. You totally misunderstood what I said. No. I'm, I'm not, I didn't say I was uh, anti-fascist. I just, I guess, uh, what I meant is that I'm against any organization that says that they are anti-fascist. So why would you because, be against an organization that say they're anti-fascist? That uh, all they because, means is that they want uh, well, to stop what fascism. I see, but when I see all from that like that means is that they want to stop fascism. Uh, well, but when I see from like all over the YouTube, all over the world, the really? what they what they do is that they. I see uh, on YouTube. I see like this guy Kevin Johnson who got charged with a hate crime. No, I don't. He tried I, to punch a woman. I don't in even job. know. Who, I don't even know who Kevin Johnson is. So the the people whose shirt you're wearing. They know who he is, and they associate with him. They affiliate with him. So you should be careful about walking around with a shirt like that when there's organizations oh, with dudes hey, punching women in the dude, faces with hijabs, dude, getting accused he, for hate crimes. I know, all I got from, from wearing that shirt everywhere is that, uh, you know, people like the shirt. They say that it's, it's yeah. a What kind of people like the shirt? Oh, I went to Picnic Electronics in Montreal. People yeah. say, nice shirt. Yeah. I went I went to Montreal in Montreal, and people say, whoa, it, this was a, it's a pretty good shirt. So I'm like a so so maybe you you don't like like the shirt at all. No, uh, I, I think I, I'm telling you there's uh you know certain types of people from a certain set of politics who might like that shirt, and then there's certain types of people like people that you know don't like fascists, for example. Yeah. Don't like uh, women men that go around fucking trying to punch women with hijabs in the face and you know commit hate crimes. Those types of people don't really like those shirts. Um, so uh, what side are you on? That's all I'm asking. That's or I'm, you should ask I'm, yourself that. I'm not. I'm not on your side, I'm on yeah. my side. Only. You're on your side? My side. Yeah? Yeah. So you should think about who supports your side then and who's gonna be there for you if shit Oh, hits the God, that I have no problems with this. Yeah, you got no problem. Good. Yeah, because uh, I've met some people that were, were actually with me. So I don't have problems. So you're not actually here just to learn what's going on. You're here with people with you. I've no. I don't know. That's no. More, see now. I no, really no, no, have no. trouble trusting That's you. You've told me so many different wow. things that don't add up. You just, you you're just, kind of you're just uh, like that's like you just, just to try to mess no, up what I said. You're telling me you're just here walking around seeing what's going on, and then I told you. There's you nobody watch with me here right now. That's why I'm, I don't know what way I said this. You just told me. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You have people with you. No, I have people that were with me. I mean, it says I have people on my side, not with me right now. Okay. Well, backpedal all you need to. So all you're really trying to do is just to make me look like I'm the bad guy. That's that's a good thing. I'm trying to show your true colors. Ah, my true colors. Good luck with that. Huh. Oh, but the Trudeau and Harper are the real terrorists. That I can agree. Mm -hmm. Well, more on Trudeau. Harper, I was never a fan of him. That I can tell you. But uh, in a way, I, every, I, as every pres president, I can respect him in some sides of things, but uh, he has some bad sides. So, all right. So here we can agree, right? Yeah, I think uh, you know, keeping a kid to be tortured for over ten years is uh, pretty bad. I think. Uh Selling uh, military vehicles to countries that uh, oppress their people and uh, calling them hmm. our main partners in the Middle East is also really, really bad. Uh, yeah. You know? Well, see, that, that, that I can agree on most of it, but uh, what, I don't know much about this whole about Cardi incident. I, I don't even know who that guy is. He's a Canadian citizen who was tortured for 10 years in Guantanamo Bay to, to Yeah, but why did he go to Guantanamo Bay? Because his parents brought him with them to another country. His parents may have been involved in some very bad things. Is that a reason to torture a child for 10 years to extract a conviction? Yeah, but he won't be brought to Guantanamo Bay if he didn't do anything, you know, no, very specific. No, I'm sorry, but... So again, we have some of the best criminal prosecutor lawyers in yeah. North America that have issued a pretty clear and open challenge to just about anybody to just prove how he did it. Yeah. He was under eight feet of rubble when they found him. Yeah. Oh. He was weighed 80 pounds and he had bullets going through his shoulders. All right. Is it really feasibly possible that he could have pulled the pin on a grenade, thrown it over an eight foot wall across 40 feet and hit someone? Moreover, hmm. so and so if he had gone, if, if this had gone to trial in any, you know, fair legal system there's no yeah. way his case would have been accepted huh. this, He's guy, like, this guy's also, a crop boy now wow huh.
Anyways, I'll take a little fish shot at the back. This is just like a Proud Boy, anti Proud Boy shirt. That, that's good. Yeah. I mean, it's a. Uh, what's that brand called? Chaps or something like that? What? I mean, I don't think that those shirts don't have anything to do with the Proud Boys. The only the, the, the guy that founded that company said, fuck the Proud Boys, I don't want to have anything to do with them. Yeah, so, the so Proud Boys pretty much are, an anti-Proud Boy. Yeah, just they're, they're racist pieces of shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, aren't you a little bit hot with that mask, you know? No, that's actually... People when was from Canada areas, great also? Yeah, what? People, when was Canada great? People from... Uh, uh, whoa, what, 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 I didn't say anything about Canada. No, no, I'm reading your hat. When was it great? Oh, this is just uh, something to, to be fun. No, no, I, I want to know when was Canada great. When was what? Canada great? Yeah, when was it? Hey, hey, man, this is I never wear this to well, really. You're wearing it. I want to know when was Canada great. Because he also says he's not associated with the, the the rebel at all. He's just like wearing the shirt, doesn't know anything about what they're about or any any of that stuff. Mm. I think he's lying, but you know. When was Canada great? We're just we're just having a dialogue, hey, man, right? This is, this is just like a slogan no, uh, to no, me. No, it's not. No, it's not. Hey, man. I, Oh, it's just tell a slogan me. you never heard yeah. about. Tell this native when the fuck uh, Canada was great. Yeah. Natives? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know that natives are also part of saying that the uh, Europeans are many times. And uh, I don't know what you're saying. I can't hear you. Yes. See? You don't want to listen to me. That's no, cool. I said I can't hear you. Like, Th thank you. No. So when, I mean, no. if the bus drives by and he can't hear you, he's, he's not trying to be rude. He, he just said, like, I can't hear you. He'd like you to repeat yourself. No, but I just say that you know. I want to know when it was great because yeah. we're in the past. But so what, was it was it great even? We said natives. Was it great even before European settlers came in? It was different, and uh, we just were different. colonized. Yeah, different. And there was no colonialism oppressing us. Huh? And there was no colonialism. No. Uh, all right, but we know, you know, like, uh, you know, this is just to, a fast no, for me. No, 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 no. The, to claim to claim like Canada, like at a certain point, was great when when my uh, when my uh, great when my grandparents were thrown into residential schools and molested and killed, or when my family walked the trail of tears and uh, many of them died, or when my family sits on the corner of the street poor you as know, fuck. No, I feel bad for when? your loss. So when was Canada uh, great? When? I feel bad for your you loss. Got, but, like Canada uh, set, rounded us up, put us in camps, got rid of uh, John A. Macdonald, made sure that the fucking uh, food. Shipments wouldn't come into the reserves, well, so we starved to death. So we would sign well, treaties. When way. was it great? When look, was it great? Look, uh, I, from my country, I'm from, and even me, even my country, we had a lot of sufferings. We lost, we lost a lot of things. So, and budget said now. So when was it great? Though? So when, when right now, we, would, we as a, as a population, as a people, we're just trying to get 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 along and and just. A, you know, a little bit forget about so, our past and no, just no, change, you, change our ways. No, no, so, not forget it because it's still going on. It's the, still happening. Uh, wow. Well, so, are still so, so you don't like Justin property. Trudeau, right? I hope. What? You don't like Justin Trudeau. No, I don't like Justin Trudeau. Yeah, so. I'm not a liberal. I'm not into that kind of stuff. So, I'm not, I'm not with Justin Trudeau either, and I don't think he's doing anything for you, for your natives. No, so. he doesn't. Not, Canada in general doesn't do anything for us. It's us that has to do it for ourselves. And like yeah. without having land, without having our land back, well, Canada still yeah. occupies and tells them, no, so this is crown land, this is ours, then what the fuck can we do? Our problems are due to us not being able to access our lands. Our yeah, but you, you, you know that many, many of times, many times, you know, we have worked, we have worked with, with you guys. You have, you have helped us. Actually, actually not us because I'm not, I'm not from Canada. So, but who is who is we? Who are you referring to? Oh, well, the other time talk about other times, you know, you see Iroquois and the French work together for, for the fur trade. Is that cool, you guys? Yeah, that was back when, that was uh, back back then. Was, uh, and they, they, they yeah. fought wars against English right. I, I, with, again. Okay. Yeah. So, so you're saying trading people fucking little glass beads and alcohol for things for furs worth, you know, 10 times more than that was working together? No, no, but I mean, that, this is, this is a, like, like a good way to. Uh, I used to no, date, that's, I used to that's, that's literally like you find someone that doesn't know the value of an object and you tell them here I'll give you this because it's shiny and you think it's cool and you give me hmm. actual something worth stuff that's well at least I know in many ways even though we people mm -hmm. stick up subtle it's like it's like, it's like, when, it's like when the police work together, goes man. into the ghetto and says here here's some crack let's work together let's work together so that by me selling you crack crack so you can poison your community crack well who do you okay. think brought the, who do you think brought the alcohol here well, that, that's uh, obviously and the... the and how do you, what do you think was actually being exchanged? What do you think was actually being traded when they worked together? Oh, right? well, a bunch of things, you how know. How is that different than the state now going into poor communities, trading narcotics so that they can poison themselves? They're working together as well. Hey, man, I, I'm, I've never been before that. You mean all the time we would... If you're talking about all those times, you know, from the past that, you know, were... Uh, you well, literally, are you a big fan of not knowing anything about the past and not caring about it at all, aren't you? Hey, all I've learned right now is that the past, the past, we just, 
want to move on and we, we just want to you know get along with and get along so i'll give you some advice on how to get along when people that have had actual issues with the shit bring it up you don't tell them hey man it's the past let's move on you fucking listen to them and you try and do what they say to make things better when people tell oh. you that the okay so we just like just like the, the native guy says that you can only the past so what, what what what's a better way to do i mean you want what you want to him to just stay with indians white with white, white white people white people black people black, no, black that, people no that, that that's because not that's, at this, all. Is, that's this is not, this is this is where all what they're saying. That's, no, but that's where it's leading. That's no, why I meant. That's, Especially that's, when you have to <laughs> organize issues with Black Lives Matter, which says they want dead, dead white people kill cops, and you have the those Latinos where, where you know, they want where white people are, are fake, they are rapists and all, and now they don't want they say the white I think people. You're living in a fantasy if that's you think that the, what's going on here. I, uh, I truly think, because like you said, well, the issue that's is what's happening in the states, and it's starting to happen in Toronto. So I, I think you're living in a fantasy if that's hey, what you think. Hey, okay, if you did you ever see those protests that what you want dead cops when you want it now? What you want dead cops when you want it now? I have never seen those. Oh, watch it on YouTube. It's all over the news. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, you know what is also all over the news? What? Like uh, far right. Uh, Neo-Nazis, white supremacists, organizing in Canada, huh. are saying that like the problem so, is. Are you, so you're saying I'm a white supremacist now? No, I'm not saying you're a white supremacist. All right. I'm are you saying, are you saying I'm far right? Uh, I don't know what your political your politics are. You've been I, really, really upset. You've been really, really like. If you want to know, I, I took uh, my Mr. Political Compass and I'm center left. That's great. Um, so I'm. So in a way, I'm on. I'm on your side. I'm, I'm a little bit authoritarian, but I am still, still a little bit on your side. Just like you know, I just have a different way. I view things a certain different way. But that's just, I uh, just same thing. Uh, maybe I don't agree with you on. Uh, maybe I agree. Maybe I don't agree with you with the whole protest. But uh, I just don't, don't know. Don't see really the point of a point of this whole thing, honestly. Because. Uh, you know, even even when if you want to know the truth, I, 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 what I think about Omar Carter, I don't see. I, I guess I don't know much, but uh, I know that a good majority of Canadians, whether they're liberal, whether they're conservative, seventy-one percent of them are against uh, against the, the uh, against the whole settlement, the whole payment. So, so, so you realize that we're. We don't really care about that. It's not just like a, a question of if everybody agrees on something, it's automatically right. Yeah. Like, lots of most Canadians also think that um, Canada is a great place. We're trying well, to tell it you. It depends. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe it's better, better places to most most places to most other countries. I mean, you want to live in Saudi Arabia? You want to live in Cuba? You want to live like in Iraq? You want... I mean, I've lived in Cuba. It's really nice, actually. Um, but so, uh, but. We're, we're, well, you live in Cuba. That's that's good. But did you live there as a citizen? No, I was went there for an extended period of time for school. It's not really any of your business, though. All right. Uh, so so uh, just school. So, but just not the same thing as living there as a citizen. That, that, that I can tell I, you. I, I lived there in a regular house like everybody else did. Yeah, that that that's cool. That's good for you. And did you did you think like did you, did you want to make your life there? You, uh, but you know, I'm seriously considering it. The weather's great. The people are nice. There's uh, a lot hmm. less Nazis like here. All right, because uh, you know that uh, there's a downside to, to that place, you know. I yeah. mean, so if you live there, if you're a citizen, you, you know, you, you're gonna let have a, lot, a little bit less rice, you won't make, get to make much. So, while well, your friends are leaving, by the way. So, and there's downsides to everything. Yeah. yeah. The same thing is the Delta's Canada, there's, there's, there's downsides everywhere. So, I honestly I prefer, I prefer living in Canada than going to either Cuba or going to Venezuela or any, maybe any Arabic countries right now. And where people are trying to leave, so I just that you know your friends are leaving. Yeah, that's fine. So you have no point standing here. I what, what are you doing here then? Hey, I'm just enjoying the weather. Yeah. I so, hope you enjoyed the weather, bud. Yeah, so you now you can join your friends, they're they're going away. I don't like being told what to do. Oh, okay. Trying to act all tough now. That's a good thing. <laughs> Take a stand. Thank you.